What's up gang, welcome back to the channel. I was not gonna make this video, but I'm actually pretty happy with what I'm seeing here. So I have decided to replace all of my low voltage 12 volt landscape spotlights around my house. I have about 16 of them with this brand right here. So I bought the Sun V. These are 12 volt RGB LED with warm light, which is very important because for the most part of the year, you're gonna wanna have warm light on to go with the rest of your landscape lights. But if you wanna change it up on the holidays, so you got uh, six little LEDs in there. They're super bright, 900 lumens. And um, I got this graveyard over here so you can see how these are my 12 volt 20 watt halogen pin bulb lights. I have had these for an eternity. They look ragged, but they have lasted literally like 17, 18 years. And uh, these guys clip in with these little clamps right here. I'm gonna show you guys how to put them in line with your existing 12 volt Malibu lighting or whatever low voltage lighting you already have. And uh, I gave it a little test last night. I like it. When I have everything done today, I'm gonna make a, the rest of this video showing you guys exactly what they do at night. But uh, let's get to it. All right, here's one of the lights I'm gonna be replacing. Got a couple here in front of my palm trees in the front yard, the last two in the front yard. Um, I have the wire pulled up. You can see I kind of pulled the sheathing back on it for my previous light because they got the clips got so bad, I just had to tap them into the wire directly. And uh, these little clamps make it a lot, so I'm trying to get that focus, make it a lot easier and they stay in a lot better. So uh, we're gonna get rid of this guy and then we're gonna go ahead and swap it out for one of the Sun V fixtures. And then let's go ahead and tap into this line right here. All right, so first things first, we're gonna take the little clip. You wanna twist the top part out because this goes around the um, bottom of the cable coming off of the fixture and then you got the rest of it here. You're also gonna twist the bottom part out and that slips down around the bottom side of your wire and then your wire in the ground and then you crimp this down and that little spike digs right into the cable nice and tight so take off the top first put that in your pocket and then we'll get the rest of this wrapped around the wire I'm trying to do everything with one hand here in a second so bear with me all right so you can see I uh, taped up the spot I had uh, strip back with the sheathing so that I could cover the exposed cable. And now we have the bottom half of the of these clips, clamps, if you will, around the bottom, around the wire. And then what you're gonna do is we're just gonna screw the top down on it. If you can see it, sorry, one-handed again. We're gonna crimp that down. So let's uh, do that real quick. All right, gang. So I got both the clips on. Here they are in line. You screw them on nice and tight, drive that spike into the cable. And then, like I said, you're gonna keep the top part in your pocket. So what you do is you're gonna put that on the end of the cable like so. Sorry, I'm trying to get this to focus, but it's not working with me very good. And then what we're gonna do is you basically just head on over here, shove the cable in there. Man, sorry, I am trying to aim it, shove the, the little end of the splice cable in there and then you're gonna screw and this is impossible to do with one hand we will get it though so like so you put the cable in there like that and then you're gonna screw the top part in see how it's screwing in like that right there sorry I know the, this is not gonna be my best video but you get the idea so anyway, you're gonna crimp that down in there nice and tight. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side and that is going to make a super strong connection. And then your light is set up. Okay, got it in, got it secured. That's what she looks like after you get her all clamped on and good to go. You can see the light is on in there, but it's daytime. So pay no mind to that. We'll do the uh, reveal later on at night. These things are nice and bright. They're definitely brighter than the the 12 volt 20 watt halogen bulbs. I had them before if that says anything. So uh, let's move along and uh, kind of wrap this up later tonight when we have some nice darkness and go through the RBG shit. One other thing I did forget to mention, I bought a 12 pack and a four pack. So the 12 pack comes with two remotes. There's another one right here. And then I believe it comes with an extra stake, either that or 
it just got thrown in by accident there's some clips if you're going to mount them to a wall or the outside of your house you want to shine down whatever comes with a little allen wrench here so that you can put the bottom of the stakes on and all of this is uh cast iron so they actually are really sturdy lights uh much like these guys and uh i gotta say i'm liking them so far so anyway let's get to it what up gang it is finally nighttime at the crib and you can see behind me i have all of the lights all the spots on right now uh super bright love them they're on warm white right now to kind of follow the flow of you know your normal landscape light look let's go ahead and turn this camera around and take a look whole crib nicely lit everything looks really bright really nice but this is where the fun starts what see i got aim the remote far if you want to hit all the lights um I mean, think about the possibilities for holidays and stuff like that. Trying to get that far light over there. there we go. Because I got one on the other side of the garage. Uh, I mean, really, look at that. They reach all the way up under the bottom of the palm trees. Um, definitely brighter than the old landscape lights I had, running on less wattage, which is the beauty of RGB. Let's see what else we got here. Let's go blue. And then, of course, you got your color shows. So check this out. We can put everything on a fade kind of watch it do its thing Halloween's gonna be mega dope this year got uh, what's this one strobe so if you want to hit up each bulb individually you can go a little closer up to them and change them all a different color if you want to do that but then just as simple as a button push we're all back to warm white right there <laughs> they are sick dude uh, I paid for the 12 pack, I think I paid about 130 bucks on Amazon. I'll drop the link in the description. Uh, I bought an extra four pack too. I think I paid another 60 bucks for that. So for about 200 bucks, it's well worth it. Full outdoor 12 volt RGB. Uh, they're looking sexy. So I'm gonna move to the backyard. I got some more I'm gonna put in the backyard around the pool and stuff. So I'll show that a little bit and then we'll wrap this up. All right, gang, as promised, we are RGB'd out in the backyard by the pool here. So I have the spots around the palm trees in the backyard right now. They're on like a slow fade or like a smooth setting is what they're called. Um, so I do have some other LED lights up here up top around the pool cage. Let me tune these off real quick so you can get a better look. But um, RGB in the pool as well. <laughs> and I uh, got the tiki bar fired up. So it does give a really cool ambiance. Let's uh, walk back outside. Actually, I'll walk outside and take a look. So, again, they're really bright. They look super dope. Highly recommended. You can see under the canopy on the palm trees, it really does light them up. Uh, yeah, man. Highly recommended. Like I said, they're cheap enough that uh, pretty much anyone can afford them. But they're also, so far, so good. Sturdy enough that I would recommend to anybody. I got one more coming for the coconut palm over here, but... Uh, whatever i'll get to that soon enough but anyway guys again thank you so much for all of your views your likes your shares please subscribe if you have not yet ring that bell to catch my live streams and as always let's lose i'll see you on the next one thanks for watching